السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Allah said in the Quran, وهو معكم أينما كنتم. That Allah is with you wheresoever you may be. Now the scholars have differed as to whether this is referring to Allah literally being with us, or it's a metaphor for Allah's eternal knowledge and His hearing and His power and His sight and so on. In order to find out what the correct understanding is, we go to the Salaf al-Salih, the rightly guided generation after the Prophet ﷺ. Why? Because this is our principle. We take the Quran and the Sunnah upon the understanding of the Salaf, and this is our principle. This is Ahlu Sunnah's principle and this is something that the Salafi sect of today claims to follow. So because they claim that they follow the Salaf in their understanding of the Quran and Sunnah, you'd be shocked to see that they themselves say we don't accept the Salaf when it comes to certain verses of the Quran and this is one of those examples. We can see over here by Ibn Uthaymeen his book, the commentary of uh, Ibn Taymiyyah's Al-Aqidatul Wasitiyya. He says, هل المعية حقيقية أو هي كتابة عن علم الله that is Allah's companionship this ma'iyah this Allah being with us right this the companionship of Allah is that a literal companionship or is it a metaphor for Allah's eternal knowledge and his uh, his hearing and his sight and his power and so on then he says أكثر عبارات السلفي رحمهم الله يقولون that the majority of the salaf say what do the majority of the Salaf say? He says, إِنَّهَا كِتَابَةٌ عَنِ الْعِلْمِ وَعَنِ السَّمْعِ وَالْبَصَرِ وَالْقُدْرَةِ وَمَا أَشْبَهَ ذَلِكَ That the majority of the Salaf have said that this is a metaphor for Allah's knowledge and His hearing and His sight and His power and what resembles that. He says, فَيَجْعَلُونَ مَعْنَا قَوْلِهِ وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أي وهو عالم بكم سميع لأقوالكم بصير بأعمالكم قادر عليكم حاكم بينكم وهكذا that the Salaf al-Salih the majority of the Salaf al-Salih have said that the meaning of Allah being with you is that Allah is uh, Allah is knowledgeable of you hearing of your speech seeing of your actions powerful over you and, and your affairs and حاكم بينكم and a judge between you وهكذا and likewise, this is what the majority of the Salaf have said. He says, فَيُفَسِّرُونَهَا بِلَازِمِهَا That they explained it with that which is necessitated from it. In other words, if it was a literal uh, companionship, and suppose you know I had somebody with me, what that means is that person is going to see my actions, that person is going to hear my speech, that person is going to be capable of helping me if I need help, that person is able to judge between me and someone else. That's what is necessary from a literal companionship. So he says, they explained it with what is necessary. And this is something in Arabic uh, balagha, which is called itlaqul malzum wa iradatul lazim, that Allah used the word being with, but he intended only what comes from being with and not literally being with. And then he says, and this is the part that should shock a lot of you who believe that they follow the Salaf because they're so open about it. He says, وَاخْتَارَ شَيْخُ الْإِسْلَامِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ That uh, الكتاب وغيره, That Ibn Taymiyyah, in this book and in other books, has said, أَنَّهَا عَلَىٰ حَقِيقَتِهَا That Allah's companionship is a literal companionship. And Allah is literally with us. He says, وَأَنَّ كَوْنَهُ مَعَنَا حَقٌ عَلَىٰ حَقِيقَتِهِ That Allah's existence with us is truth upon its literal meaning. This is what he's saying that Ibn Taymiyyah has said in this book and in other books and he obviously supports that view as well. And this is the view of the Salafi school that Allah is literally with us. And then they say that, but the companionship of Allah is not like the companionship of mankind. Meanwhile, what did the Salaf say? The Salaf said that this is a metaphor for Allah's knowledge and His hearing and His sight and His power and uh, what resembles that. So when you read this verse and you see, وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ And you see that uh, Allah says, He is with you wheresoever you may be. Take the understanding of the Salaf al-Salih. Take the understanding of the rightly guided generation after the Prophet sallallahu And don't take the understanding from the Salafi sect, the followers of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, because they are contradictory. And this is, once again, some more inconsistencies within the Salafi sect that we have of today.